The Waikowhiti River has been and continues to be an important part of the community. It has been for centuries. It's been a source of food, both plant and animal. Also, from a recreational perspective, there are a number of people that use this river. There was a concern, obviously, about the state of the river and people even seeing the deterioration of the river from their childhood into their adulthood. And this concern began to gather some strength when people started talking with one another and suggested that perhaps they could do something about this. Back in 1999, they gathered together and formed a group which became known as River Estuary Care, Waikowhiti Karatani. We've got farmers, we've got general landowners, we've got the local iwi, we've got a couple of uh, other environmental groups and it has grown from a handful of people to be this much larger group that we can depend on whenever there is an activity take place. We have learned and we see that the river and the mountains and the land around it and this ocean, the health of each is dependent upon the other. There is a lot of research going on with people from the universities and other groups and their findings we use in making decisions and therefore planning what we are going to do to continue to support and improve the quality of the river. I guess one of the key ways that the Otago Regional Council has supported this community has been to really grow their social connections. We didn't have a whole pot of money to throw at a whole lot of fencing and planting. What we really wanted to do is grow long-term sustainability and so by doing that we actually wanted to bring everyone together. We wanted to bring the farmers together talking to the Karatani community, we wanted iwi talking to the um, community as well, we wanted Fish and Game Dock and the Regional Council all working together to find ways to improve the water quality. It's very much a community project, it's their project, they're driving it, the landowners and the community together and iwi and we're really there just to support that project going forward. The river is important to iwi because it's a connection to our past. Back in the day it was the food basket for the people that lived here. The community's just been awarded some funding to, I guess, look at the restoration of our awa. We're hoping that, that we'll be able to eventually restore the health of the river and the resources that were there and the habitats that were there back to what they were maybe two, three hundred years ago. This project is an amazing success. It's been building for 16 years. They've got a great community base and they're continuing to share their passion with the wider community. Ko hikaroro te mauka, uh, ko Waikawaiti te awa he pātaka waiora. Hikaroro is our mountain, the Waikawaiti is our river, and it will be a healthy food store in the future.